Breaking right now, Mayor Lightfoot just released details about her civilian police oversight plan. She is recommending a seven-member council that has no citizenship requirement or restrictions. The mayor says the group would be able to interview and recommend superintendent candidates. It would also have the ability to direct the chief administrator to investigate police misconduct claims and order the inspector general to conduct specific research. What it does not do is give the board the power to hire and fire the police superintendent or set CPD's budget, which is something city council members have been fighting for. If approved by the city council, the mayor's oversight board would begin work next year. And this past weekend was the deadliest of the year in Chicago with at least one dozen killed and nearly 50 others hurt. CPD is bulking up patrols, but Chicago's top cop is addressing officer burnout. Dane Placco is live at CPD headquarters with this story. Dane. Yeah, it was a violent weekend in Chicago. And with the one year anniversary coming up tomorrow of the murder of George Floyd, plus the uh, uh, Memorial Day weekend coming up just around the corner, Chicago police are taking steps to beef up their presence on the streets of Chicago. Now, Superintendent David Brown uh, running through the numbers at a news conference earlier today. 47 people shot in Chicago from Friday to Sunday, nine of them killed, including one juvenile. There were also a number of problems with large crowds of young people gathering on North Michigan Avenue and on North Halstead Streets. Things got ugly at that second location with some of the crowd jumping on officers and damaging cars. Pepper spray had to be used on another group near Millennium Park. The superintendent also confirming today that he has canceled days off for most officers through at least May 7th, or June 7th rather, and they'll be working 12-hour shifts. The superintendent says he knows it's a hardship on the officers, but says it's a tactic they must occasionally use during times of heightened tension. We don't have any um, actionable intelligence that would tell us that anything would happen similar to what happened last year, but we're, again, we're preparing uh, to have additional resources uh, to move throughout the city in case there is, there is some type of civil unrest. Now, with all those uh, officers being asked to work a very long and strenuous hours over the next couple of weeks, some retired Chicago police officers are stepping up to help. I'll tell you about that coming up at 5 o'clock. Live at police headquarters, Dane Placco, Fox 32 News.